Hello everyone. Today, I'll be presenting an interesting ultrasound case. Our patient is a 59-year-old male who presented with a painless, palpable mass in the left inguinoscrotal region. The swelling had been stable for a long time, with no history of fever, weight loss, or systemic symptoms. There was no obvious history of trauma. Ultrasound of the scrotum and inguinal region was performed using a high-frequency linear probe and a convex probe. Look carefully at this cine clip and identify the ultrasound findings. This is a still image showing uh, power Doppler imaging of the lesion. These are still images showing gray, scale, and color Doppler examination of the left testis and left epididymis. Okay, let's discuss the ultrasound finding. As you can see in these images, the left testis and epididymis appeared normal. There is a well-circumscribed rounded mass was seen along the course of the spermatic cord separate from the testis and epididymis. The lesion measured approximately 8.2 times 7.7 .7 centimeters in maximum dimensions. The internal echotexture was heterogeneous with areas of mixed echogenicity and areas of cystic changes. No internal vascularity on color, Doppler imaging, a peripheral echogenic capsule was seen around the lesion. The sonographic differential diagnosis includes encysted, hydrocele, neoplastic lesion, and hematoma. So, MRI was recommended. As you can see in this image, the MRI was also inconclusive and the report mentioned the same differential diagnosis. So, the lesion was surgically excised along with the left testis because it was inseparable from the spermatic cord. The postoperative histopathology confirms the diagnosis of organized hematoma with no evidence of malignancy. Thank you for watching.